Hey y'all, it's Lissa aka Bangs and Glasses and I'm back with a layout share for you all. Um, so I've been playing along with 30 Days of Sketches series 16 for October, which is um, a whole double page layout series this time. Uh, so this has been kind of a challenge for me. I am not usually a double page layout maker, um, but I have been managing to play along. Um, so I am just going to share these layouts in uh, just a couple of videos once they've already been made. I'm not gonna do process videos this time around uh, just because I just don't have time to make a video for each day like I have in the past. Um, this is the busiest time of the year for me work-wise, so it's just too much right now to do. But I do wanna share my layouts with you all, so I'm gonna be sharing layouts from days one through seven in today's video. And I'll just do kind of like every week's worth of layouts um, as a video. So let's start with day one. So this is the sketch here, and this is created by Lisa Brooks. Um, what I really liked about this sketch was just the use of all these banners, and I decided it would be a great time to use some washi. So I used up um, one roll of washi on here that was just, you know, had a little bit left. It was this washi right here. Um, so let me kind of spread this out so you can see what it will look like. So it looks like this. So pretty similar to the sketch here. Um, so this is titled Explore Together. Um, and it's using Maggie Holmes Round Trip and really just a lot of washi. I did just use solid cardstock as my base. Um, the washi is really the star of the show. Um, this is just documenting a trip me and my husband took to Eureka Springs, which is one of our favorite places. Um, so just documenting a couple photos from our first, I think, one or two days there. So I did use some embellishment clusters in just a couple areas. I think one thing I do struggle with with the double page layouts is knowing where to place my clusters. And um, just I feel like the scale of the cluster needs to be bigger because it's you know, a bigger layout and you're looking at it all at one time. So I do really like how this came out and I used up a lot of washi. So that was nice. Um, I think I even made this all the way back in like August or something uh, when I first got access to the layout. So um, yeah, I'm glad that I was able to get this one done. Next, we can look at day two here, and this is from the same trip. So this is the sketch, and it was created by Sean Styles Lair. Um, and what I did for mine is I kind of rotated this. Um, so this part is like on the inside of the layout, because um, I had this big map that I wanted to use. And this is um, using Maggie Holmes round trip still. And I didn't have two papers that match. So what I kind of did is like cut a sliver of this paper and moved it over here. Um, so they're not twins are kind of like opposites, uh, but they still kind of match. And then instead of the little squares, I did rows of tags from the cut apart pages from this collection and some of the ephemera. And then I used one of them as my journaling spot. So I have my map here uh, from the Blue Spring Heritage Center and I just embellished a little bit on here and then this is uh photos of us going to that heritage center it's um you know a blue spring so this is a spring in the background in some of these pictures it was very blue and it was very cold it felt very refreshing and we just kind of walked around this park area and took some cute pictures together yeah so that is another layout from that trip Next, we're going to look at layout number three, and we're shifting gears here to a Christmas layout. Um, so this is what this one looks like here. And this is day three, created by Stephanie Olson. I really liked this layout. I feel like it was really simple and usable. And what I did with mine is I decided to do this Christmas spread. And instead of doing these squares of paper, I just did kind of a square of mixed media. And I did use up um, this whole jar, um, or I finished up this jar. It was uh, from Picket Pin Studios, Paper Glaze. Um, it's from their sample set, and this was Snowdrop White. So I'm glad I got that used up here. And I used um, 
Simple Stories and Mix and Mingle, which is one of my favorite Christmas collections of all time. And this is titled, Oh by Golly, Have a Holly Jolly Christmas This Year. So like using that whole lyric, a lot of the titles pieces on this layout were using lyrics from that song. So I was like, I'm just gonna write out the whole song here because I don't know what else I would use the phrase, oh by golly, if I wasn't writing out that whole lyric. And these are photos from uh, my family's Christmas in 2021. It was at my house. Uh, so we just did kind of like a potluck style thing in the morning and then open presents all together. Um, so I wanted to have some little scenes here of kind of like my living room with the fireplace. Uh, things just things just reminded me of home. And I really love how this plays on all the red in the photo and then also my shirt, um, which is a shirt my aunt got me. It says Jingle Owl the Way with an owl on it. I think that's so cute. So that was day three. Next we have day four here and I did decide to go ahead and scrapbook some baby photos you guys from uh, my son. Um, so these are some of his like newborn newborn photos and um, I've shared this before but I don't share photos of my son on the internet um, just for safety reasons so I will have sticky notes covering up his face but you can see you know a cute little baby hand in here. Um, so this is day four and it was created by Aaron Dallas and this is what it looks like. Um, I feel like I'm hoping that I did this sketch like correctly. I feel like I had a hard time kind of understanding what was going on, but I think, you know, I do really like how this came out. So this is kind of a double page layout, but it's like two separate events here. So I just have this side, which is just a cute photo of my son. Um, he was only four days old in this photo and he had a cute little elephant hat um, and a red onesie. And I think my, my Aunt Karen sent me that elephant hat and then this is documenting his first checkup. Um, so this is his first doctor's visit. So when he was four days old here. So this is even the sticker I got um, from the doctor for his first checkup. So that can be in his little baby book. And um, you'll notice, you know, these sides don't match exactly. Like I don't have the same background paper, but there's elements that are the same. So I think they still look nice together. And for this one, I was using Echo Park Welcome Baby Boy collection, which I really like. Um, I'm excited to start playing with a lot of the baby related things that I've picked up. All right, so that's day four. Next, let's look at day five. Um, so these are photos from my baby shower for my son. So this is day five, created by Sandy Reversky. And that's uh, Steak Goddess, I guess. I didn't realize that was her name. All right, so this is what this layout looks like here. It kind of goes like this. And you'll notice on a lot of the layouts for my son, it's gonna be very green. And that was because um, he was a March baby. Um, I also didn't know his gender uh, before he was born. So um, I used green a lot as like, you know, kind of a neutral color here. So this is all using the um, Echo Park It's a Boy collection. This background paper, this green paper is from Recollections from a paper pad, it's just from Michaels. And yeah, I just had some simple embellishments here. Uh, really wanted the photos to kind of be the star of the show. These are just photos from the baby shower um, of all of our guests here. So it's like photos of my family, uh, my husband's family, and uh, you can see a bit of the decorations there too, which was all very green and gold themed. So I picked up this collection knowing I would be definitely documenting his baby shower with them. So I'm excited that I got to start some of that project. Next, we are on day six, and this was created by Kim Johnson Martin. Um, so for this one, I really just kind of used this side and doubled that instead of having this side and this side. It really kind of turned out more like this on both sides. Um, so these are photos, again, some newborn photos of my son. And um, this is when he was first brought home. I think was, this was literally like the first day we got home. Um, and this is also using, um, let's see, Echo Park, it's a boy collection. 
So I just kind of use this journaling card as my title here. It says, of all the things my hands have held, the best by far is you, baby boy. And this is my mom holding uh, my son. And he is the first grandchild on both sides. So, you know, this is her first grandbaby. So I just kind of, you know, mirrored the same elements on both sides. And these are photos of him. Um, you see his cute little baby feet here. And it just says, twinkle, twinkle, little star. And again, he was just you know, so tiny when he was born. He was only, um, I think it was six pounds, five ounces when he was born, or maybe six, two. Um, so he was really tiny. Um, so yeah, so cute. Just excited that I'm starting to document some of those things. Um, yeah, for a while there, it felt like too close to home because he was still so little, but now he's, you know, a toddler. So it's nice to go back and visit those newborn days now. Okay, so now taking a departure from the baby photos. Um, this is day seven created by Darla Weber. And these are just photos of me and a friend. We went out to uh, a park together. Uh, first, we went to a garden center and then we went to the park. So those are just photos outlining that. So I used the um, Echo Park Plant Lady collection, which I've used before to document photos of me and this friend because she loves plants. And I did use some more washi uh, to kind of frame this out like in the sketch. And um, there's also some pink fresh some days in here too, kind of mixed in just to bring some more elements in. Um, one thing I don't enjoy about Echo Park is a lot of the embellishments it's just like very word heavy. So like everything has words on it. And I feel like you kind of need some stuff to break that up. Um, I do really love this giant floral. This is just a sticker from Dollar Tree from their like wall sticker section. And I've been saving this in my stash for a while. So I'm glad to kind of use that up and use a big element over here to kind of balance this out. And I just journaled about our day together over here. And it's just titled Bloom Together. And this is the back of this page. It's very plant heavy. Um, but yeah, I really like how that came out as well. So that is everything for days one through seven for 30 days of sketches. I will be back, um, with a couple more videos outlining, you know, just all the layouts I'm making, um, for 30 days. And then I'll also have a separate video at the end of October with just all the regular layouts I'm making for this month. So thank you all for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to leave me a comment and like, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next crafty video. Bye.